now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead please hear me any door standing in front of you that has refused to open I call upon the God of my covenant between now and December 31st please hear me in the name of Jesus that grace is coming on someone the grace for open doors take that grace now the grace for apacotes katepata the grace for open doors receive that grace right now I speak to every closed door a fata be open a fata be open help them please I come in the name of he who holds the key of David he says I can open a door that no man can shut and shut a door that no man can open I say to you again I don't care how long that door has been locked in the name of Jesus we break that door open now we break that door open now we break the Pakos Katebata. We break that door open now. Hear me. There is a strange grace for visibility that is coming on people. Hear me. Do you know what it means to be visible? To be visible means to be acknowledged by the optical eyes. You can be there and yet not be visible. Visibility is the key for being living a rewarded life until people know you are there they cannot place a demand on your gifting and grace help them please i don't know what has covered your glory but in the name of jesus may that grace for visibility rest on you now let it rest on you now hear me please help them when baby Jesus was born no physical man announced and said a baby is born there was a grace on him that made the magi they left their distance and carried gifts gold frankincense and myrrh and they came to pay homage to a baby those guys were wise men why will they pay homage to a baby so don't tell me i'm small they paid homage to a baby i say it again whatever has covered your glory so that those who honor you cannot find you i lift you by prophecy rise to a position of visibility rise to a position of visibility now hear me I have taught you here that all blessings come from God through men to men all blessings come from God through men to men all troubles come from Satan through men to men in any case men are always the midwives of destiny whether it is from God or from Satan hallelujah there are many of you God said yes since January but the man who will say yes on earth has not been available and there are forces that have pushed them away let me prophesy for your destiny help us because you see let me tell you you are as powerful as those who support what you represent the Bible says in the multitude of men is a king's honor not in the multitude of your gift every man ordained by God to respond to you favorably this year and for whatever reason maybe by demonic intrusion their attention has been taken away from you I speak to the north the south and the east and the west I command your helpers to gravitate towards you I command your helpers to gravitate towards you gravitate towards you hallelujah one of the mysterious spiritual currencies 
that buys a life of dignity and honor including wealth is this grace called favor favor is a grace look up please the understanding that favor is unmerited is not accurate favor is very merited favor is multi-dimensional the dimension of favor that is not merited is the grace that administers salvation but favor is merited proverbs 13 15 it says good understanding procured favor please give it to us good understanding give it favor but the way of the transgressor the violator of patterns is hard how do you know favor is on your life the real proof of favor is access to the heart of men you know you are favored to the degree to which there are men to answer and attend to the matters of your life favor carries a tripartite expression please listen favor genuine bible favor carries a tripartite expression number one unusual kindness number two unusual acceptance number three unusual access until this tripartite expression is captured in your life it is not favor and i've told you if it happens only once it's not favor it's breakthrough but not favor favor must happen repeatedly regardless the circumstances exodus 3 21 and i will give these people favor pay attention please in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go help me please ye shall not go empty psalm 44 and verse 3 for those who have been trusting god for structural establishment here is the secret they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them but your right hand and thine arm it says and the light of thy countenance because thou hast a favor towards them Esther 2 15 the B part the little village girl Hadassah who was brought from Shushan the Bible says and Esther obtained favor in the eyes of how many all when favor comes on you the only person who cannot bless you is a blind man provided they have eyes to see all them that looked upon her verse 17 not even the king was spared and the king loved Esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins I know what favor is believe me with all humility I can tell you I may not know everything about it but there is something I know about the favor of God as we have received by grace in the name of Jesus upon someone right now someone who is tired from the depth of my heart I pray for you as we have received freely may this grace called favor rest upon you now may this grace called favor rest upon you now may this grace called favor rest upon you now I speak to you obtain unusual kindness from men unusual acceptance with men unusual access to the hearts and the resources of men the favor of God is the number one reason people succeed I have taught you again and again that in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters there are people who you cannot cast away the Bible says when a man's ways pleases the Lord he makes even his enemies there are some enemies you can't cast away you have to pray for a rite of passage into their heart otherwise that door will not be open they are called gatekeepers the covenant that binds them is beyond their attitude even in their fallen state the throne of God still acknowledges them you won't pray them away you will pray for favor for instance there was no way to bound to bind and cast pharaoh if david was waiting if if joseph was waiting to bind and cast pharaoh to be prime minister he would have waited forever when god wants to lift joseph he will make pharaoh have a dream that only joseph can interpret and give him access to the palace the wine presser said i remember my wrong this day 
there was a young man who has been locked up my carelessness has added two years extra to his life and they said go and bring him and the bible says the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not god there are men who can send for you and bring you out of certain realms it was the king that sent for joseph never to return to the prison again whoever needs to send for you in the name of jesus may the voice of favor call them may the voice of favor call them may the voice of favor call them whoever must send for your family in this period whoever must send for your ministry whoever must send for your value may favor compel them to call you hallelujah let me tell you the truth this world is a very selfish world it takes the favor of God for people to turn their hearts and their minds and their eyes away from the nuances and distractions and to focus on your destiny to lift you this world is not that kind I can tell you people are very selfish they are about and justifiably so everybody is focused on building their destiny whatever will make someone suspend attention over his destiny and invest his attention his credibility his resources on you must not be natural oh come oh come Emmanuel and run some captive Israel Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel has come to you, his Israel. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel, he has come to you, his Israel. Can I pray for speed? Listen, again I have taught you in this house that the unit of destiny is time. And one of the ways to abort a glorious destiny is to corrupt the potential for achieving much with respect to time your lifetime is a measure of your birth from the day you transit separated from your body and one of the strategies to abort great destinies is that satan creates obstructions and impedances on your way so that you are not able to do much in time but there are two systems of advantage that have been deployed by the intelligence of God to remedy that constraint. Number one is called restoration. Number two is called speed. When these twofold forces work in the life of a man, you must gain time. Restoration brings back time. Speed accelerates you to do much within a short time. This is what I want to declare over your life. Speed is a very powerful system of advantage that much can be done within a short time. In the name of Jesus, I call upon the God who called me, the one by whom we have obtained apostleship. In the name of Jesus Christ, by this apostolic and prophetic mantle, I speak to someone. May that grace for speed come upon you now. May that grace for speed come upon you now. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Hallelujah. Let me declare over you. If there is anybody here that the spirit of death is already tracking, that 20, help them please, that 2022 will be your last year and then something mysterious will happen in the name of jesus i pray you shall not die i say it to you prophetically you shall not die not by the arrows that fly by day not the noisome pestilences not the destruction that wastes in noonday i speak to you that a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side but none shall come nigh you with your eyes will you see and behold even the reward of the wicked 
in the name of Jesus Christ Job said the Lord will deliver you from six things yes seven one of it is the scourging tongues of men whoever has spoken against you and programmed the climate of death I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood I cancel that negative statement in the name of Jesus the final prayer I'll pray for you please be patient and then since he's here the prophet of God Pastor Emos Fenwa, I would just plead with him to just come, even if it's just in a minute, to make a prophetic declaration over you. And I've seen God honor the words upon his mouth. And I know what God can do when our hearts are open to receive. Hallelujah. And then we'll wrap up with our end of year sacrifice. And that will be it. I want to pray concerning your finances. Please look up. I don't believe in poverty. It's already clear. There is no point hiding or playing around it. There's, there's nothing, nothing to explain about it at all. I'm not talking of fanatism and this obsession for money. We are kingdom people driven by purpose and intelligence. So when we talk about things like this, please, this is not an attempt to fuel lust in the heart of one who is not serious with God. We are, we are talking about the king. That's why I started by telling you that our ultimate motivation is to see Jesus revealed. I have taught you here that money has three major assignments. Number one, for your comfort. God blesses us so that we can live a comfortable life. Number two, God blesses us so that we can provide financial resources for kingdom advance. Number three, God blesses us so that he can give us an opportunity to be a blessing to a dying world in a definite and a practical way. Money becomes a tool and evidence to that blessing to help us. And financially speaking, money has two assignments. Number one, efficiency. Number two, time redemption. That's it. The assignment of money in the life of any believer is to help you be efficient Efficiency is a product of gaining time. It's a dominion system. Number two, time redemption. It affords you the opportunity to do much within time and then to be efficient while you do so. So one of the ways to waste your time is to keep you limited financially. This finance thing has limited a lot of people, especially because of the realities that have happened across the economy of nations. I have taught you here that there are many dimensions of wealth and I am not one of those preachers that downplay the place of value, intelligence, contribution. I have taught you extensively. There is an economic system to the kingdom. There is a science to wealth. Wealth is not arbitral. It's, it's, it's a response to value. There are intelligent people here, business people, captains of industry, and I'm not here as a man of God to downplay your pedigree, but I can tell you there is a prophetic dimension to wealth. In the Bible, every time there was an economic problem, it was not economists that were called. It was the prophet that had to answer, why is there an economic problem? And the prophet said, by this time, tomorrow. The prophetic dimension to wealth is called sovereign wealth. This is not wealth by value. This is wealth by the finger of God. It, it happens to men, but as instructed by God. When, that, when the prophetic word comes, let me tell you what happens. The spirit of wisdom follows that prophetic word and starts looking for human actors that must make that word not look like a lie. So there were four lepers who sat down and they did not even know what started moving them. They said, why do we sit down here? That courage was not normal. It was the product of the spirit of wisdom responding to the prophecy of Elijah. Elisha in Samaria. One person sent by God can schedule a season in your life that brings you to permanent rest. Are you ready to receive? And by a prophet, he says, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, no matter how blessed you are, I have taught you here that the standard of being financially blessed is that you can give so much to the kingdom without it affecting your overall financial health. If you have not gotten to that state, it means you must open your heart for more. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the privilege of grace and apostleship, and by the power of the prophetic, I speak over someone. 
may that grace that makes rich may that grace that can empower a man rolling away financial shame from lives and families receive that grace right now receive that grace right now upon the works of your hands receive it upon your mind receive it in the name of jesus christ and when saul met with prophet samuel samuel told him number one the donkey you have been looking for has been found prophecy brings restoration number two as you return you will find three men holding two loaf of bread they will salute you and give you that is honor and favor number three you will come to the garrison of the philistines and that the hand of the lord will come upon you and you will begin to prophesy truly the prophetic can bring prosperity it can be not, it can be abused but within the boundary of scripture and the boundary of doctrine for the believer it can work wonders i say it again the man to surprise you by god i send them to you prophetically the man raised by god to be his system of help towards your life and finances to bail you out from shame and reproach receive of their ministry right now give me a testimony someone is praying give me a testimony proof that I encountered your grace proof that I encountered your power give me a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ give me a testimony give me a testimony I'm seeing the kind of fire that you see on a candle I'm seeing it come on four people while you are praying right now four people and the Lord is saying he's igniting the next dimension of your life and ministry four people four people this is what I said my visions I release it I release it that fire in the name of Jesus I release it by the power that raised Christ from the dead I open you up by this fire to a new dimension a new dimension a new experience in the spirit my god a new experience neither do men light a lamp ah, there will not be silence in your life again it's time to begin to make news for the kingdom that unction that is coming upon you from heaven empowering you by the spirit of the living god a new chapter in your life a new chapter in ministry a new chapter in your endeavors in the mighty name of jesus christ the grace of God speaking fully, speaking fully. You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance. Wherever I am afraid. I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say I am strong in the strength of the Lord. I will trust in you. I want you to write it in two weeks a supernatural job is coming I saw it in the spirit write it down I speak to you by the God who has sent me eight people the Lord showed me in I'm not saying one month I'm not saying three weeks in two weeks let me say it again in the name of Jesus Christ it will surprise you how God will do it Listen, 
despise not prophesying the word of God is powerful let me say it again there are eight people the Lord showed me in two weeks in the name of Jesus my God will give you a job that will surprise you for some of you 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 will be one of you you will be the first out of five people who is going to have that job you are five I'm seeing you will be the first out of five people that all graduates all doing well but it looks like a job the only person I think one of you worked maybe with one telecommunications company and that was it but my God is giving you a job that will surprise you hallelujah you believe that there's someone here the Lord is speaking to me that he's going to connect you to the governor of your state hear what I'm telling you there is a vacancy for you God himself is going to put don't think I'm just speaking no believe it I'm saying it again that the Lord is connecting you to the governor of your state and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon the king sent for Joseph I'm saying this because I'm seeing destiny about to happen for someone that listen listen before you say amen that somebody you did not expect listen just believe me the person is not going to send for you by somebody else he will get your number by himself and you are going to see a call mark my words and mark what I'm saying in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is but I prophesy let it be so for you by this divine connection may destiny happen for you in the name of Jesus Christ please help them in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you're watching me from the United Kingdom right now you're watching me from the United Kingdom God is shifting you from UK to US this is where I see that your destiny is listen you're watching me from the United Kingdom husband and wife two of you are watching me as I'm speaking to you now the Lord is telling me that he's relocating you from US from UK to US because he wants to connect you to destiny Joseph had to leave his father's house to go to Egypt because that was the place of destiny in the name of Jesus may God make that happen for you and let me use that opportunity and speak listen I wrote about five scriptures here be patient with me tonight when I pray on this I'm going to read those scriptures and speak them into your life they all came in the place of prayer. It's not something that I just sat down and invented. They were words that God gave me to speak the blessing upon you. Hallelujah. But let me pray for someone. If you are in the wrong location, I stand by God and I pray. Hear me. Believe this. This is a very serious prayer. You can be diligent in the wrong place and never receive a harvest. I'm saying it again. If you are in the wrong location, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I relocate you to the place of destiny. 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 Place of destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are abroad and your destiny is in Nigeria, I bring you back in Jesus' name. If you are here and your destiny is in another nation, I don't care how you will get there. By God, and once it is scriptural, may my God push you there. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King 
is resurrecting me in your name i come alive to declare your victory the resurrected king is resurrecting me hallelujah i want you by faith whether you are sitting or standing stretch your hands towards this request and I want you to begin to make faith declarations. These are not rituals, ladies and gentlemen. There is power being invested here as we pray. Go ahead. As I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, lifting up this prayer request, not because you cannot approach God directly, but he has granted grace. He said, brethren, pray for us. Men can be prayed for. People can stand based on their covenant with God and they can agree as touching important matters in your life someone begin to make declarations lord i have brought this prayer request as proof of my faith is someone praying now i'm going to go on my knees as i pray on this for you and i want you to believe in the next one minute everyone is praying in the name of jesus christ in your name I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrected. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrected. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I decree and declare that every request that has been here written as an act of your faith, in the name of Jesus, the resurrected King, I declare, let it return to you as testimonies. Let it return to you as testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it return to you as testimonies everyone here appointed unto death in the name of jesus the son of the living god by reason of this prayer we avert death from your life we avert death from your family in the name of jesus and prophetically i stand upon this request and i declare in the name of jesus these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ please stand on your feet and be ready to shout a believing amen the blessing is conferred upon people by saying the bible says and he blessed them and said listen I've told you that the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit. It comes upon your life alongside every kind of spiritual impartation. They answer to words and they answer to faith. Words mixed with faith. Hallelujah. A few scriptures and I will speak over your life. Please, I want you to receive it. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 9. Media, let's walk together very quickly. 
Deuteronomy 30 and verse 9. And the Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of thine hand, in the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy land. It says, For the Lord again will rejoice over thee for good. In the name of Jesus. Therefore I prophesy, let plenty locate you. Ah, someone is receiving, let plenty locate you. In this season I drive scarcity from you. Let the covenant of plenty find expression in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deuteronomy 7.15, 7.15, Deuteronomy 7.15 the Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee and will lay them upon them that hate thee therefore I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for you and for your loved ones I declare be free from sickness and infirmity Isaiah 54 17 Isaiah 54 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn therefore I decree and declare no matter how that weapon comes in the name of Jesus it will not find expression in your life Isaiah 58 11 58 11 Isaiah it says the Lord shall guide thee continually is someone shouting a loud amen. amen every confusion every misdirection in your life going to the wrong places and finding out you are just wasting time find accuracy of direction now amen. let's finish the scripture and satisfy your soul in famine and make fat your bones that thou shalt be like a well a watered garden like a spring of waters whose waters fail not I prophesy supplies to your life in the name of Jesus Christ Psalm 86 and verse 17 give us an amplified please Psalm 86 and verse 17 86 17 he said, show me a sign of your evident goodwill and favor that those who hate me may sit and be put to shame. Listen, he said, because you, Lord, will show your approval of me when you help and comfort me. He says, show me a sign. The sign that God needs to show in your life to bring to an end the shame and the mockery. May God show that sign this week. May God show that sign this week. May my God show that sign this week. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. They looked at Elisha. And they were wondering, could this be the person to succeed Elisha? He did not look like it. But when a sign came upon him. The Bible says he turned the sign was to part Jordan and when he said where is the Lord God of Elijah and Jordan parted hither and thither the prophet saw and they said truly the spirit of Elijah don't rest upon Elijah I don't know what sign God needs to show in your life to let everyone know that finally favor has landed to let everyone know that finally speed has landed but I say again this week may God show that sign this week may my God show that sign in the name of Jesus Christ Psalm Isaiah 43 and verse 4 43 4 Isaiah 43 and verse 4 43 and verse 4 do we have that projected it says since thou was precious in my sight thou has been honorable and I have loved thee therefore will I give men for thee and people for your life listen do you know what this means listen to my message the gift of men you are as wealthy as the men God bring in your life you are not just as wealthy as the things when you have things you are limited 
things cannot love you things cannot be there for you when god really wants to help a man he gives that man men let me speak over someone you have things but you lack men i pray for you men that includes help us men that includes comfort us men that includes financiers men that includes prophetic people to speak this week may god bring quality men to show up in your life may god bring quality men to show up in your life in the name of jesus finally numbers chapter 6 from verse 24 numbers 26 24 the lord bless thee ah you didn't hear that the lord bless thee the lord bless thee the lord keep thee listen do you know what it means for god to keep you have to make reference to john 17 and verse 1 he says he came to him and he said glorify now thy son that thy son may bring glory to you when you read down to verse 6 it says all that you have given me i have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition he says look for it since it's somewhere there john 17 all that you have given me i have kept he says and none is lost except the son of perdition and that's that the scripture might be fulfilled he said but what i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day so when he says the lord keep you it means that you are engraved in the palm of his hands beyond the reach of curses beyond the reach of all kinds of demonic things now that you understand let me say it again the lord keep you the lord keep you 25 the lord make his face to shine upon you listen do you know what this means every time you hear the face of god shining upon a man that is favor you find that in the life of moses you find that in psalm 44 and verse 3 give it to us very quickly for they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them but thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance that is how they became possessors so when he says may he make his face shine upon you it's another way of saying may you be covered completely with the favor of god i pray for you may the lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you 26 may the lord lift up his countenance upon you the last blessing right here is something money cannot buy hear me the last blessing right here is something education cannot buy the last blessing right here is something your intellectual pedigree cannot buy the Bible says and give thee is a gift if you are not given you cannot have it and give thee peace listen I've told you my highest definition of success is not progress is peace no matter what else you have in your life if it is at the expense of your peace it was not worth it no wonder jesus himself is called the prince of peace he says peace i give you my peace i live with you not as the world gives there is a kind of peace that he gives you that surpasses all understanding I'm praying for you in this troubled world in the midst of the turbulence that is depressing people saddled with fear saddled with all kinds of um, all kinds of things may the peace of God be given to you this night may the peace of God be given to you this night in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ where you have been crawling I place an anointing upon you begin to fly like the eagles begin to fly like the eagles hear me whatever has covered your glory covered your visibility so that those who need you and have what it takes to honor God in your life cannot find you in the name of Jesus I tear off that veil now I tear off that veil now 
find visibility find visibility find visibility in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah why have you been here 38 years I have no man to help me not that the water cannot be reached I have no man where is somebody who is in need of one man one man who becomes a helper to say what is your issue oh a job see me tomorrow where is the one man who is saying what is your issue oh a visa come and see me next week i pray for you the one man sent by god to be a destiny helper to your life in this season wherever they are i gravitate them towards your destiny <laughs> hallelujah three more prayer points everything that has died in your life chiefest among them your prayer life and your passion for God perhaps you came here and it looks like everything God is dying or has died in your life because you see when prayer dies your passion for God dies your passion for the word dies eventually every other thing begins to die that is the central point of victory in your life your relationship with Jesus enhanced by your prayer enhanced by your word study enhanced by your passion for the house of god your submission to doctrine and learning let me pray for you tonight jesus is called the resurrection and the life everything dead everything dying in the name of jesus i use the words of jesus talita kumi it, although it was for a little girl but i pray for every situation that has died let it come back to life now let it come back to life now let it come back to life now dead prayer life come forth dead word study life come forth dead passion for the things of god come forth in the name of jesus christ hallelujah can i pray for your finances will it mean anything to you if you experience a higher level of the blessing of the lord on that wise You need money you. let me tell you period it's as simple as that there is no other way around it money is not everything but as far as the matters of economy is concerned you will be surprised how crippled your life will be are we together now the person who is sick cannot reach the hospital but the person who is poor everything you need is around you but the wherewithal to make it yours that is even more disastrous if you bring something for a sick person to eat the person may not have the energy so it's not an issue of is that the appetite is not there but a poor man will pass every shop available everything available but the means to connect it to your destiny is not there and remember when we talk about finances i will emphasize again that this is not some mundane carnal quest for materialism but let me tell you, I'm a responsible man of God and I believe in responsible Christianity that administers to you the whole counsel of God. Anyone who tells you to downplay the relevance of finances is joking first with himself and then you. Are we together? The name of Jesus Christ is very heavy. It takes financial resources to take it high enough for the nations to see. The needs that surround your life, most of us here, if we were to read your prayer request, over 70 to 80% of them will largely be dependent on finances. Finance is very important because it can solve so many things. Cannot give you peace, but it can enhance the atmosphere that gives you peace. Let me tell you, one of the reasons, one of the ways you become a peacemaker on earth is to have the means to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what be, if you are owing Caesar, doesn't matter your relationship with God. As far as Caesar is concerned, the tribute collectors will come to disgrace you. When Jesus was ministering, they came and said, you claim to be a man teaching righteousness, yet you are owing the law. So you must know how to give to Caesar what belongs. Jesus acknowledged that there are some things that belong to Caesar. I want to pray for you. The kind of Christian experience where you love Jesus Christ, but then you are being incapacitated economically. I've told you that many people because of this 
economic backwardness it can tilt you towards the corridors of compromise god can bless you so bless you huh, that you solve your financial problems it does not become a concern again your concern now becomes building destiny and the purposes of god thinking about money day and night is idolatry is a curse it was never supposed to be that way there is nobody an intelligent god will not design a human being to be obsessed and thinking about money because what you think about that worry is a kind of worship are we together it says let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable many believers love the lord but this finance thing especially within the you know you do not want to compromise your faith but then it must finance listen until you know how to force finance to answer especially co-laborers those who are in ministry here listen to me in all you're getting trust god for grace to sort this money thing once and for all this is not an issue of pride this is this is until that is solved i guarantee you there is a, a man a kind of concentration you will never have as far as destiny is concerned are we together yeah the absence of finance is one of the biggest sponsors of compromise even in our world today many people who love the lord are forced to bend over and compromise give to caesar what belongs to caesar let me pray for you in the name of jesus it says haven't obtained help from the lord i continue to this day i pray for someone the dimension of wealth you have not seen i call upon my god the god of jeshuron the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may my god surprise you 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 open up strange financial gates for you connect you to strategic helpers give you wisdom to manage and multiply your resources in the name of jesus christ hear me and your acquisition of financial resources will not be at the expense of your relationship with jesus the wealthier you are the more passionate you will be about the things of god with it you will be a blessing to many with it you will be a blessing to yourself listen I'm not praying for you for money to just buy tea and bread. You don't need my prayer for that to happen. Just be valuable. I'm praying for you to become a trustee. A trustee of the wealth of the kingdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through water and through fire. And thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. A man can be helped by God. May that be your portion. Amen. Now, finally, you have honored me. You have prayed for me. I, have, I understand there are many prayer groups that have prayed, prayed and fasted for days. Just lifting me before the Lord. Whatever gift you give me, is, there's, there's only so much I can do. But that prayer you have prayed for me. I just want to speak one prayer from my heart. One prayer from my heart. And you care to receive it I want to pr I'm going to pray for you no no you don't have to kneel please stand but it is from the depth of my heart every man has a covenant with God there are secrets that make for the rising of men there are things God is always telling us in every season and when he sends a word to Jacob he lights it upon Israel I truly want to pray that one prayer with that we'll wrap up the service but I want you to receive it if this is the only reason why you have come here tonight your coming will be worth it if you do receive this hallelujah can i pray that prayer for you father there is a grace called favor you have helped me you have made me to become an an expression of your favor that it is true you can pick a man and place that grace upon him my bible says and jesus increased in wisdom stature favor with god and with men you have helped me in the name of Jesus from the abundance of that which God has given I stretch my hands on this day to as many who will care to receive from tonight carry that grace evidently carry that grace evidently 
carry that grace evidently carry that grace evidently carry that grace evidently carry that grace evidently number two God can empower you to walk signs and wonders but he can make you a sign and a wonder he says I and the children that the Lord has given me he didn't say we will produce he said we are that your life becomes a living epistle I'm praying for you the grace that makes ordinary men to become global phenomenons the 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 grace that can make an ordinary man to become a sign and a wonder wherever you are I impart that grace upon you I impart that grace upon you let the nations hear your voice let the nation see the hand of God upon your life I impart that grace upon you carry that grace evidently in the name of Jesus Christ finally I want to release that grace for honor you see it takes honor for a generation to listen to you it takes honor for a generation to 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 acknowledge the hand of God upon your life Joshua was full of the spirit already but he told Moses take some of your honor and place upon him so that the children of Israel will hearken to him being skillful and gifted is wonderful but that is not enough to command the attention of a generation being honest and a person of integrity is not enough you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for someone tonight may this mantle of honor that can cause all and sundry to acknowledge God in your life and to reward you as matching your true worth may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you So shall it be in Jesus name now just one instruction everyone please listen um, thank you for all of you who made so many cakes I decided to pack all those cakes to bring it here not everybody can have a piece but at let's focus on our children first hallelujah so all my little children little take note of the word little all my little children you have a piece of this cake as many as can go around when they are done then maybe some other people so make sure you have it take it as communion that God will bless you please parents do allow your children to just pick a piece the welfare would be glad to communicate it to them and then they'll be on their way going um, I'm told that some of you may have come with gifts now my I sincerely appreciate you but we may not all have all the time to receive it personally please know that I do not take you for granted you can meet the PR they have made a provision for as many of you maybe a gift or whatever you can drop it with them they are people of integrity you can be sure that they will be they would be glad to communicate it hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now please be seated for one more minute you are here and the greatest honor I can give the Lord tonight is to present a soul in addition to all that has happened you are in this place tonight and whilst you heard me speak the Holy Ghost began to convict you and you are saying apostle I know time is fast spent but give me an opportunity to make it right with Jesus two calls in one perhaps you are here and you've given Jesus Christ your heart truly but as it is your life has gone haywire and you need restoration wherever you are please give me the honor to lead you to Jesus one last time before we leave leave your seat as I count one to five and please make your way very boldly and confidently thank you they are coming already koinonia is this the best you can do the greatest miracle for this night come the hymn writer says must I go on empty-handed must I meet my Savior soul he says not one soul which wish to greet him must I empty-handed go come come